The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. My name's MJ, and this is my first booktube episode. Today, we're going to do a book haul of some books that I recently acquired. First up, some books that launched recently. The first thing I got was N.K. Jemisin's The Broken Earth series, the second book in it. It's called The Obelisk Gate. If you haven't read it yet, please go get the first book, the fifth season. It's amazing. It'll make you cry. It'll make you cry. There's a part with laughter, there's a lot of weirdness, but it's amazing. Go get it and then buy this and read it and then we can talk about it together. Next up is Commonwealth by Anne Patchett. This book explores a family as they become blended when two people meet at a christening. Asleep on this book. But it's so pretty, guys. Look at this cover. Look at the oranges. I wish you could feel it. It feels so good. This is smells really good. Next up are, is some book mail. First up is my book of the month book. boxes. They pay attention to, to detail and design. I really like that. I lost my opening thingy, so I'm going to have to put this open. Okay, so it says, members, what does reading mean to you? Let us know. Fill in the other side of this bookmark, post your video, and tag us at Book of the Month Club on Instagram for a chance to read, to win, Three months happy reading. I'm gonna have to fill it out later. I don't know what I'm gonna say because I'm not creative with things like this, but I'm gonna try because I would love to win three months of Book of the Month Club for free. Okay, so this book is called All at Sea by Decca Atkinhead, a memoir. So I actually don't read too many memoirs, so this is really interesting. I think this is about a woman in Jamaica who loses her husband. My family's from Jamaica, so this makes this really interesting to me. Um, as always, there's a little note from the author, and it says, I don't want to forget, writes Decca Agenhead in the prologue to her beautiful and devastating memoir, All at Sea. After her partner and the father of her two sons drowned in a freak accident in 2014, Decca set out to write about it. She was compelled to, and we are lucky enough to read the results. As harrowing as the story may be, All at Sea is a breathtaking sublimation of grief in the wake of tragedy. I hope you are haunted by this, by it as I am. And this was chosen by Judge Maris Kreiserman? I don't know who that is, but it says Slaughterhouse 90210. Maybe she wrote a book that's like based on 90210. I don't know. I haven't watched it series since I was like 11. Whatever. Anyway, next up is a package of Amazon, and I know what this is, and I'm like so excited for it. Oh, it's actually already open. Okay, and it is the Night Vale books. So first is, I think yeah. So first is mostly void, partially stars. Um, Welcome to Night Vale episodes, volume one. Um, by Joseph Fink and Jeffrey Craner. So if you don't know about Welcome to Night Vale, where have you been? Night Vale is a podcast about a community radio station broadcasting about this small town in the desert called Night Vale. And Night Vale is a place where all conspiracy theories are true, if you just want to sum it up in a sentence. But it's really hard to explain, you should just listen to it. If you don't start from the beginning, it's kind of like you can just jump into the first two seasons, um, which were actually published in novel form with um, some background from the writers and from the actors that star in it. Um, the sequel is The Great Glowing Coils of the Universe. Um, so it's not a sequel, it's actually just the second season of the podcast. Um, but if you haven't listened to it, I highly suggest that you do. If you don't want to listen to it, you can actually just pick up the first book, give it a read, 
it'll be a really good introduction to see if you like it. I love it. Um, they're actually on tour right now with a new episode called Ghost Stories, and they're also um, going around the country promoting these two books. So if you haven't read anything by them, go pick it up. It's great. Okay, next up is my lip box box. Um, so my lip box is a monthly subscription service that focuses on um, books by or about people of color. Um, I've gotten some amazing books including Homegoing which I just finished, Here Comes the Sun, um, My Name is uh, My name is Harlan or the book, of, the book of Harlan which takes place in World War II uh, Paris. That's amazing. Okay. So let's open this up. Okay, so the first thing is a postcard, which is great because I'm a photographer. So it is some old tiny photography equipment. Do you see that? It's really pretty. Um, and then to accompany it is a notebook, which says life is like a camera. You focus on what's important, capture the good times, develop from the negative, and if things don't work out, take another shot. That's amazing, it's really good. It's unlined and it's pretty small, fit in your purse, pretty cool. Um, the last thing in here is an out of print mug for banned books. I love mugs and bookish mugs are even better than just a regular mug. So for this one it's heat reactive so it goes from showing the band, like it shows you like what books have been banned and then as it gets hot with your hot tea or coffee it reveals the names of those banned books, so I can't wait to use this. Okay. And then the book is... The book is The House Without Windows by Nadia Hashimi. Hashimi? Hashimi? Okay. I have not read this book, but it sounds really interesting. Um, let's see, it takes place in Afghanistan, so that sounds really interesting. I don't read that many books in the Middle East, so this would be a great read, um, so I can't wait to dive into that. And then, lastly, I'm going to show you some books that were galleys, but they're now released, and so I got them for really cheap, so I just want to talk about them for a second. First up is The Girls by Emma Klein, which has been all over booktube. Um, and if you don't know what this book is about, it's about a young girl who kind of falls in with the wrong crowd in the 1960s in Southern California. So you can take a wild guess about the weird girls that she gets mixed up with. Next up is another book that I heard of actually called A Taste of Honey. Um, I'm not really sure what it's about, but I know that it got nominated for um, a Hugo, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, but as a blurb by Charlie Jane Anders, which means it's going to be great. So I'm excited to read this. It's A Taste of Honey, um, and it's written by Kai Ashanti Wilson. The cover is really cool. There's like a leopard, two men, and where they're going. It's like dark, whatever. It looks really cool. Okay, next up is The Kingdom by Fuminori Makakura. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a Japanese crime novel. There's a lot of that going around lately. Um, it sounds really interesting. The premise is that there's this young woman who pretends to be a prostitute and blackmail, blackmails her clients, and then the tables are turned on her at some point. So it sounds really interesting. Um, I don't read too many Japanese novels, so I can't wait to read this. Next up is Maestra by L.S. Hilton. Now, if you're on Litzy, you'll know that this book was making the rounds a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know that it was getting the best reviews, but it was definitely very interesting. So I can't wait to read it for myself and just see what all the buzz was about. Okay, so next up is Dancing with the Tiger by Lily Wright. I have no idea what this book was about, but I actually loved this cover. I thought it was so gorgeous and very evocative. It's dark, but the, the, the things on it are very bright. Like there's cats with knives and miracles. I don't know what's going on. Um, it takes place in Mexico.
Mexico. I don't read that many books that take place in Mexico, so this also sounds interesting. I think it's about the art world and Mexico and a dead dad. I don't know. It sounds cool. Next up is The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. And this has also been really popular lately. It's a thriller about a couple who go to dinner with their next door neighbors and something horrific happens and the book is just basically about unraveling that mystery. I am not a big crime or thriller reader but I actually read Girl on the Train a few weeks ago and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was like really fun and fast paced. I tend to read really depressing books so books like this although they might be a little bit dark probably are not as like heavy because they're really short and it's just focusing on one particular crime um, so I can't wait to read this. Almost done. Sudden Death by Alvaro Enrique. Um, I don't know what this is about, but I love the cover. And the blurb says it includes a Q&A with Teju Cole. I just bought a Teju Cole book. Uh, it's a book of essays. Um, so that makes this even more interesting to me. I don't know what's about it all. It's also set in Mexico. I'm not a binge. Okay, so that sounds good. Lastly is a huge novel. Um, and it's also been really buzzy and making the rounds on Litzy and Booktube. And it's called The Nix by Nathan Hill. I don't know what this is about. But I heard this is really good and it's huge. It's um, so I can't wait to read it. Okay, so that's all I have for today. Thank you for tuning in. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to hear more from me, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Litzy at Sherry Michelle. You can follow me on Instagram at Ultra Book Geek. And you can follow me on Tumblr at the same name. And I'll see you next time. Bye. You can see this, but I got this in an owl box recently. And it's an Eleanor and Park necklace. And it has a little mixtape. That's so cute. Do you guys even know what mixtapes are? Because I was reading that book and I grew up in the 80s and the 90s and I know what a mixtape is because I had cassettes, but I feel like a lot of you have no idea what a cassette tape is. I should find one and I should show it to you guys.